Hello everyone, welcome back on my channel. Today we will see the key performance indicator in Power BI desktop. So let's understand it in detail. What is key performance indicator in Power BI and when to use it? Okay, so a key performance indicator is a visual that communicates the amount of progress made toward a measurable goal. For example, uh, if uh, let's say any organizational data so uh, we have our organizational data and uh, we have to analyze the goal of that particular organization like they have um, the goal to achieve this profit in this year okay so we have the data of previous year and this year then we have to analyze that if their goal is achieved or not achieved according to that both years data so if we achieve the uh, more number of profit than previous year's number, then it shows it in the green color. The KPI shows the green color. And if the goal is not achieved, then KPI shows it in the red color. Okay. And when we have to use it is when we have to measure progress to measure a distance to a goal. And to answer the question, how far ahead or behind am I? Create it in Power BI Desktop. So uh, by clicking over this visual KPI from the visualization pane, we'll get this visualization here. And then we have to add the values in that. So uh, we can see the cells and the profit a month so here in this data we have the data of uh, 2019 from january 2019 to june 2019 so here we have the months so these points are showing the months particular january february march april may and june okay so this is showing the sales and profit by month okay so here goal is 66.84k and what we achieved is 355.37k by june month so it is giving us the green color because we achieved the goal so that's why it is showing in the green color okay in this way we can create the kpi chart and uh, we can format it so after going over this format <coughs> button this format option you will get the format options here like call, call out value if we have to set the font of that call out value we can set the font from here we can increase and decrease the size of that particular label we can align it as left as right and as center okay down upside or in the center we can set the display unit for this particular value if we have to set it in it is already in these thousands so if we set it as auto it will automatically tag the number if we set it as none then it will shows whole number what is that particular value is and uh, we can set it in thousands millions billions and trillions also okay so uh, and next option is the icons So this right icon is showing the yes, your goal is achieved. So if we have to increase the size of that particular icon, we can increase that from here, decrease also. So yes, and then next option is the trained axis. So this is for giving the colors. If bad color is um, whatever color we want, we can give that from here by selecting any other color also 
so now a good color uh, always a good color is showing showing by the green color and the bad color is the red color okay so red color is the negative one so we can set it accordingly we can set the transparency from here target level it is showing the goal this goal value and we can set the font color also from here like we can change that color from here we can set it as bold italic underline whatever we want according to requirement we can set that we can increase and decrease the size of that particular goal we can give the label also so we can change this value as achieved value or anything we want then this is the distance to goal so it is giving us this value plus four three one like how much we are achieving in this period so we had the profit but how much so it shows the particular value like we we got the four three one point six nine percentage profit like that okay so we can set uh, the uh, distance direction from here we can set the style for in the percentage value or we want both so according to our requirement we can set that okay we can set the date also so after on this date option we get this june here as a month okay so we can change the font color we can change the font and font size also from here okay then next uh, this general option here is also some we can set the position of that particular visual on the dashboard we can give the title as uh, here it is the sales and profit by month it is the title so we can set it uh, as a heading we can color it we can give the color to the text we can give the color to background also in this way we can align it in the center we can increase the size of this particular title we can change the font from here we can bold it italic it and underline it okay so whatever changes we want to do we can change that from here on the title in the effects we can set the background color for this particular visual so like this if we want in print color we can set the transparency accordingly this is for the visual border if we want to give this border we have to on this particular label particular uh, visual border if we of that we don't able to see the border on this particular visual okay we can add the shadow also and we can give the color of that shadow we can set the offset we can set the position of that particular shadow so in this way we can create this kpi visual in power bi desktop if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section and uh, we'll see the next video on the slicers in power bi desktop up to that don't miss to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can receive the notification of my upcoming videos till that take care bye bye thank you so much for watching my videos